My name is Colby from StarlingHardware.com, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review and installation tutorial of the Starlink cable routing kit. Cable routing kit allows you to easily and cleanly route the Starlink cable from the dish that's mounted on the exterior of your home through an exterior wall inside where you can plug it in to the Starlink router. In this video, I'm going to be going over the contents of the kit, the tools that you'll need to complete the job, and then I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to install this and route the cable through the exterior of your home. Okay, let's go ahead and do our unboxing here. This is the box that it comes in. Very small, very lightweight. And inside, you got the instruction manual that comes with it. You get um, three four inch spade bit. This will be what you use to drill the holes for the two grommets. The grommets are what you see from the outside and inside on your wall. These will go in the hole that, that you just drilled. Um, it's The center is cut out here to allow the Starlink cable to be routed through. So you get two of these grommets. You get about 10 of these wall clips. Uh, these are useful if you're routing the Starlink cable up to your roof. You can secure them along the wall vertically up toward the roof. You get a tube of this silicone sealant. So you'll apply this sealant um, around the edges here to seal this water tight. Get this very long drill bit. I'm uh, not sure the size on this, but this is what will be used to drill your initial pilot hole. And the reason it's so long, and you'll see this also with the step-by-step -step tutorial, but this is so long that it allows you to drill from the inside all the way through so that you know you have a perfectly straight path for that cable to go through the wall. And then finally in the kit, this is the cable pulling tool. So what you'll do with this, when you drill uh, your hole and you're ready to route the cable, you'll stick the Starlink connector in this end and you'll push this through the wall and you'll go outside and you'll be able to pull this through uh, with the cable already secured in there. So this allows you just to easily pull the cable through the wall. And that's all there is to it. The tools required for this project are just an electric drill and a marking pencil, a stud finder, or electrical finder might help you locate studs and electrical wires in your wall, but it's not necessary. So the first step is gonna to be to unplug your Starlink. You need to unplug the connector on the dish side because that's the end that you'll be routing through the wall. So just make sure everything's powered off and leave it powered off for the duration of this project. Next, I'll talk about site location. So you wanna pick a spot like I have here that is free from electrical outlets, plumbing, etc. You can use your stud finder if you need to, but I just tap the wall to figure out where the hollow spots are. So we're gonna be drilling a hole all the way through the wall. So you need to make sure there's nothing behind this location. You also wanna make sure to pick a spot that's close to where you want your router to be. You don't want your cable you know, running 50 feet through the house or something like that. So just pick a spot that's easily accessible from both the interior and the exterior. Doesn't have anything inside the wall that you know of and that's gonna be close to where your final router location is going to be. So next what we're gonna do is drill our pilot hole. So use the included very long drill bit with your electric drill. And after you've picked a spot, you can see I've marked it here on the wall. What you're gonna do is you're gonna drill all the way through, all the way to the outside. So all the way through the complete wall. And you want to drill, let me just put this in the drill real quick to demonstrate. So you wanna drill at a slight downward angle as you're going outside. And that's to prevent any water that may get into the hole from leaking in. If you have it at a downward angle, just a very slight angle, that ensures that nothing, no water will ever leak in. back it out and then I'm going to go around outside and see what the results are.
Okay, so the hole is drilled all the way through. I could see it from the outside. And now we want to switch to the included 3 4 inch spade bit, and we're going to enlarge this hole to the required diameter for the rubber grommets. So we'll drill, start on the inside, drill this one, and then we'll go around to the outside. So uh, just to note, you only need to go through the drywall or whatever material you have inside. You might hit some insulation like I did here, that's okay. Once you're past the drywall and into the open wall cavity, then you can go around to the other side and do the same thing. You just need to go through the exterior siding and the plywood sheeting. Okay, so now that we've got the 3 4 inch hole drilled on both sides, what we're going to do is use the included cable pull tool to route our Starlink cable from inside to outside. And what you want to do is use the dish side connector. This is the one that is straight, unlike the right angle end that goes into the router. And you want to insert it into this side of the tool. This is to protect the connector as you're going through the wall and it also holds the connector on there so that you can pull it through and then take this end and just route it through your hole. So go ahead and feed the cable that you need through the wall and leave just what you need for the router plus maybe a few extra feet inside so that you can reach the router installation location and then take the rest of it outside and route it up to your Starlink unit. You can coil excess up at the Starlink unit if you need to. So now we're back outside and once you've pulled all the cable that you need to reach your dish through the, through the wall to the exterior side, what you need to do is secure the cable. So what we're going to do is use the included cable clips and we're going to secure the cable to the wall and then we're going to route it up the wall. And we're also going to install a drip loop at the bottom here. So a drip loop just prevents any water that comes down this cable from going into the interior of your home. So here's how I've created that drip loop just using the included wall clips. Uh, it just goes down, it's secured that way and then it goes up the roof, or up the exterior wall to the roof where my dish is located. Okay, so at this point I've got the cable secured on the exterior of the house. So now we're ready to install these grommets. So they're the same for both the exterior version and the interior version. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide this over the cable. Until the cable it's seated in the hole in the center, just like that. And you wanna orientate so that the little slot here is pointed down. And before you permanently insert it into the wall like that, you're gonna apply some silicone sealant, the included silicone sealant around the perimeter here, just to create a nice water seal. and then go ahead and wipe any excess away. And I also recommend applying a little bit right around the cable here as well.
and just wipe away the excess and you're done. Let's go to the outside. Okay, so same story on the outside. Just install the grommet onto the cable first. And once the cable is seated in the hole, take your silicone. And since we're on the outside, we're gonna apply just a little bit more than we did on the inside. And we're gonna orientate the open slot to the bottom. And go ahead and insert the grommet into the hole. And go ahead and wipe away a little bit of that excess. You want a nice solid uh, silicone bead around there because this is actually the side that's gonna protect from the water and it doesn't matter as much how it looks out here. And then I'm also gonna take my um, excess that I'm wiping away here and just put some on the cable as well, just to protect that. Got some right there, actually. And that's all there is to it, now you're done. Once you've sealed up both sides, anterior and exterior, you could plug in your Starlink again, make sure everything works, and then you've got a nice clean install through an exterior wall. So as far as my review and impressions of this cable routing kit from Starlink, I think it's a great value. For 26 bucks, at least in the US market, you get a complete kit. All you really need is the drill, which if you're attempting this project, you probably already have. So you get the, the spade bit, you get the long drill bit, you get the sealant, you get the, the grommets, you get everything you need to properly route a cable through an exterior wall right in one kit. So it's super convenient to be able to just order it when you're ordering your Starlink kit or your mounts. Uh, I can't really think of any downsides. Um, everything in the kit was pretty good quality. I mean, you're not really gonna be needing to reuse the drill bits or anything unless you just put them with your other tools. So that's not really a concern. Got the job done and we were, you know, pretty much done with the whole project in within 10 or 15 minutes or so. So really easy, uh, highly recommended. Uh, if you have any questions for me regarding this kit or anything else Starlink, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And also make sure to check out our website, www.starlinkhardware.com for more articles, tutorials, and Starlink news. Thanks for watching. See you next time.